And hello, my brave knights, princesses, and princes. Welcome back to the flowers collect flower characters. Now, I had to replay the entire chapter to get back to this point. I found something that I missed. I found um um the singer's passport in the room that we actually looked through, and it turns out that um that the tramp is in a picture of hikers. So I wonder what that means. Toki. Hola, Jorge. How have you been? Oh, hey. Hola, Diego. Didn't expect a visitor this late. Been a long time, huh? It has. It has. How are you doing, old friend? I'm doing all right. You know how it is. Heard you got promoted. <laughs> word gets around, huh? Well, word is they got sick of your crying after I was taken off duty. <laughs> Actually, once I didn't have to drag you around everywhere, the commander finally saw my potential. <laughs> what a load of crap. I know I should have dropped by more. There's just been a lot going on at the station. Don't mention it. I get it. New responsibilities, living up to expectation. Yeah, yeah. And with the election coming up, and now the shooting. I heard you called it in. Saw it myself. I was right there on the balcony. Took you long enough to get the body moved. What's up with that? I know, I know. But like I said, a lot going on lately. Everyone works as fast as they can, you know that. Yeah. To be honest, I was hoping you'd seen something. Anything. You know how when we worked together, every detail counted. Who's the body? Some pencil pusher. Uh, no one connected to the election, thank God. Everyone's on edge. The slightest spark could send this entire thing up in smoke. Didn't look like a robbery to me. I know. The whole situation's wrong. Help me out, will you? Please. There's a bum hanging out in the area. Harmless fellow. Doesn't seem the type to commit a serious felony. But he might have seen something. Makes sense. This is really helpful. Anyone else? Uh, do I really need to tell him? I guess... You might want to talk to Padre Eusebio at the church. Was he there? In the middle of the night? Hey, you ask him. I can't do all your work for you. Alright, I'll see what he knows. Anyone else? There's an elderly lady. Lives across the street all by herself. She's usually up there watching the plaza. Oh, sounds like the perfect candidate for a witness. Yeah. Donya Anna's the name. It's on the doorbell. Great. I'll look into it. Anything else? I don't think we're going to tell him about Melinda yet. No one. Woke up the next morning and there the body was. All right. So who was the victim? Really? As sharp as ever. <laughs> now, we don't know for sure. But it looks like he was tied to some underground network. What, like activists? What do they care now with everything changing? Stir up conflict and panic. It's their only cause. Did you notice any new faces around here? Uh, let me think. There's this fancy-looking tall guy. Has been coming to the capital. I don't really, I don't really want to tell him about Melinda yet, just so you guys understand why I'm not. Doesn't fit the local clientele. Exactly. Wears a suit, polished shoes, the whole shebang. Don't know what he's up to, but he seems to have been in meetings with the owner. Interesting. 
Anyone else? No, not really. I see. Oh, hey, I just wanted to say, uh, I know you've had it rough, and the pain, and I can only imagine the boredom. It wasn't your fault. You know that, right? I should have been there when it happened. It's all in the past. Forget it. Right. Well, uh, back to the problem at hand, huh? Has there been anything out of the ordinary? Anything at all? Now that you mention it, I did see something strange. There's an old printing press in the building, down by the plaza. Seems like it's been printing again. How's that strange? The place is a repair shop now. Oh. All right. A singer from the cabaret got into an argument on the street with the waiter from the cafe, no less. It would seem like the usual love drama. No weapons involved. <laughs> right. Hey, uh... Heard anything from Ursula? She wrote the other day. Haven't opened the letter yet. Ah. I won't pry then. There's nothing more. If there was, I would have told you. Of course. I know that you're on our side. And, uh... What side is the Tradition. Of course. Also, for those of you that first watch, are first joining me, there are going to be times when I'll accidentally will skip dialogue. It's not really my fault. It's just that the press of the button is so touchy sometimes. Another visitor? You're quite popular, pal. Hey, kid. Good to see you. Mama said to bring you some leftovers. We just had dinner. That's terribly nice of her. Tell your mom I said thanks. Yes, Senor Jota. We'll do so, Senor. How nice. I think it's time for me to go. It's getting late. Yeah. Drop by again sometime. Don't leave me with the dust rats for too long, you hear? <laughs> Will do, Jorge. Will do. That was... Uh, hmm. Hope Mel is alright. It's probably best to not have the two of them meet. At least for now. Hey, Mel. You there? Hmm. Should finish up for tonight. Would be best to write down what we uncovered. Don't really feel like eating. Do, 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 write down. <clears throat> Okay. Here we go. <clears throat> Fell asleep again. So much for drawing notes by hand. I wonder where Mel went. I'm willing to bet you, just like in Overwatch, that Mel is a either a figment of his imagination or is a real person, but just is avoiding. Let's see. Maybe she's down there interviewing folks. Better grab the lenses. Take notes for now. There's a piece of clay. 
cloth on the wire fence. Did she rip her clothes? Hello, hello, hello. Okay, what's the odd thing? Waiters in there. That's interesting. I don't. You see, the thing about this game is that I don't know. Wait. like Mel's. Is she spying on the mechanics? Sometimes I just have to stumble upon it and I'll find it. I don't know what you want from the game. Like, I'm looking around at the, this place like... So far, the only odd thing I see is that the guy is missing, and I'm confused. We're done anymore. Oh no. Why would they take her away? This has to be connected to that meeting between Carmen and the stranger yesterday. Damn it. Carmen must have told the Prometheus about Lola's background. No, I was right. Was there anything we could have done? Sounds like it's coming from the 
trance, man. But my mission is to observe these guys. Sounds like it's coming from Fine, the fine, fine, fine. Where is it? What'd you put on it? I mean, dude. Mel, come in. What is she up to? Mel, are you alright? Hey, Jorge. It's Anna. Oh. Hola, senora. Jorge. The policia are about. Yeah, I noticed. I worry that they will come here and search my home. They might leave a mess, but uh, I'm sure it won't be that bad. You don't understand. I've been collecting old books, poems. Yes? Of the variety that the Nationalist Party doesn't really appreciate. Really? You? This old heart has always pumped red blood. People in my day got dragged through the streets just for owning them. They couldn't take you in for possession of them. We both know the Bolivia are resisting change most of all. Owning these books is not something I would admit, unless I had no choice. All right, listen. There's a small garden by the church. I bet you can put them in the bushes, pick them up when the Polithea have left. That sounds like quite a way. And I can't walk very fast. They'll spot me. I'll check when the officers are busy and give you a call. Wait for my signal. I'll ferry you over safely. Goodness. Suppose I have no other choice. No, you don't. Now would be a good time to point out a route for Doña Ana. Alright, so how is this working exactly? Whew. Sorry about that cutting, I was trying to figure out where exactly I was supposed to ever go. It was difficult. Thank you, my boy. I knew I could trust you. You might want to tell Eusebio. Just don't mention what you actually hid there. Good idea. I'll go right away. <laughs> Didn't know there could be this much guts left in those old bones. And there she goes.
Now we're back to observing. Finally, tell him to stop his littering. Shit, they punched him. Why are they so brutal? This isn't right. They know something. Going to Doña Ana. Seems to have gone well. Oh, here we go. Here we go. thought I'd root for the people on the run, but the way the Polythea are acting. What did they find? Damn, where's Mel? Must be something interesting going on in there. It's everywhere. I could ask the kids to bring me one of those pamphlets. Well, if they would just stop running. There's one standing right there.
first. I mean, how should I know? Yes, now to call the kids. Oh. Okay. Let's see. You know, the man in the wheelchair. Ah, si. Sí. Hola, Senor Jota. Did you see the policia? They went through all the houses. Also, there were a lot of peepers in the streets. What's going on? <laughs> Slow down, Laura. Yes, I saw what happened. Can you grab me a copy of the Daily News? Okay, Senor Jota. And bring me one of those leaflets, will you? Will do, Senor. Thanks, kid. To think I was looking down at them the whole time and trying to call out to them and it's like no you have to you have to call them on a phone and it doesn't specify that. Thanks, Laura. Oh, she's adorable. Don't trust the false promises. Have to stay united. Vote order and tradition. A bunch of names and years? Why would anyone bother spreading this around? Need to make some sense of all this. given by Aldo. It's still very vague, but could this be the same man he saw on the night of the murder? The stranger got some sort of information about Lola, but why would Carmen sell out her own singer? Should we think? I should we. I should we. for the source of the pamphlets. But why are they so important that the Polithea would raid an entire plaza? They found the printing press. Mel has disappeared. And the Polithea. The raids today looked awfully much like... Oh. These Damn painkillers. Always making me drowsy. Too tired. Need to sleep. In 
interesting. Who's the body? Some pencil pusher. He reached out, said he had something for me. Stir up conflict and panic. It's their only cause. The tall guy. He's talking about a list. Later that day. Uh, the mole had the list. That's the motive. That's why the Bolithia are turning the plaza upside down. To find the list. The murderer probably took it off him, though. There's some piece here that I'm missing. Wait. This pamphlet is ordered like a list. What's going on? Names? And dates? It starts with 1974. Why does that ear ring a bell? I need a point of reference. 1974. That's when we joined that raid unit, the Flower Collectors. Mission statement was simple. Find leftists, revolutionaries, queer folk, and other unwanted people before they disturbed the peace. Before they became a threat to our nation's unity. As Altrin would say, I'm I I think you're 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 what have already said I think you're confusing peace with quiet. Find the flowers. I wonder... Nineteen seventy-two. Diego and I joined the Narcotics and Liquor Task Force. <laughs> we all drank more than the kids we arrested. Honestly, I... I'm not even sure some of them had any drugs to begin with. The flower collectors. Okay. Let's see how these fit in. Hmm. Diego. Back then, we hadn't gone on any of the raids yet. If we had known about all the messed up things we'd have to do, would we still have joined? 1972. More recruits joined the ranks. The new ones were always the rowdiest. Eager to fight. Had to tear them off a poor bastard once. Don't even know what he'd done to deserve it. 1974. We got moved to the flower collectors. The raids. The screams. The... Broken bones. Why did all these people have to be dragged away? Beaten down? Just like today? Who benefits from all this? 1975, another party, hell, the raids became parties, and no one asks any questions as long as their throat gets drenched. How is this upholding any morals? How is this protecting the people? That is an excellent question.
So many people were attacked in those raids. I should rethink. The mole could have gotten the names off young recruits. Would those recruits really have opened up to an outsider, though? Should we th I need to think that I should we th The list's first entry is in 1974. The same year we joined the flower collectors. Could the list have anything to do with those assignments? It seems like the mole was working at the Polythea. He compiles a list of names, keeps it hidden, gets shot the moment he tries to pass it on to the press. I need to find out who those names belong to. To mo Oh, look who it is. Hey, hey! What are you doing? Do you know what time it is? Huh. Where have you been? Do you know what your friends did? What are you talking about? Hey, stop searching through my stuff. They arrested Aldo. For murder! Now why would they do that? What? I don't know. But it's not gonna stick. You really need to calm down. To hell with being calm. When I was on my way back from the cabaret, your detective friend was here. Saw him leave your apartment, so don't try to lie. What on earth did you tell him? I didn't tell him about you, if that's what you're asking. I didn't tell him anything. We're close. But something didn't sit right with me. You expect me to believe that you didn't trust your old friend from the Policia? Look, a lot of things are going on right now. It felt safer to play my cards close to my chest. Just when I thought I'd found someone I could trust in this mess. Hey, I was worried about you. Where have you been? Doing a little digging. Hitting up some friends of mine. Friends of yours? The insurgent type. Not everyone's a terrorist. They're club owners, bartenders, singers, normal people, Jorge. Anyway, this name popped up. Houseman, equal parts shady and cruel. Started these raids in 1974. 74, you say? He was close to the commander of the Policia Armada and deeply connected within the Nationalist Party. They repressed all kinds of people they didn't deem Spanish enough. Everyone who didn't fit their Catholic ideals. Wait a minute. You recognized that year, didn't you? Why? What aren't you telling me? I was 
was there. Might as well be honest. We got transferred to this new unit. The targets were always handed down from above. But that doesn't excuse... I never saw or even heard of Hausman. In any case, those days should be long gone, and the You're as blind as you are culpable. Did you already forget what happened right outside your home today? Oh, look at her tapping her feet. That's great. You're just a gang of murderers in uniform. I'm not part of that anymore. I left. Oh, please. You were forced out of service because you couldn't stand at attention. How dare you? Do you have any idea how losing your goddamn legs changes a man? I'm sorry. I didn't mean it like that. I'm sorry. I got drunk one night. Every night after the raids, actually. Passing the harbor. I ran into some of the kids we had targeted a few nights before. They recognized me immediately, of course. Thought I could take them. In the struggle, I fell off the quay. Onto the rocks. At first, I was angry. Then, I don't know. I couldn't work. People stopped coming by. I couldn't. to figure out what's going on and I don't know if I can do it on my own I don't know what to say I think maybe we should go our separate ways but I like having a little cat sidekick wait Melinda please There's still something I can do. I refuse to be useless. No more. I have to get to the bottom of this. Better take the camera. She brought film. Yes. Eusebio's talking to himself. Seems really upset. I bet he misses Aldo. Securing evidence this late at night? Or are you making sure no one else gets to take a look inside? Probably both. Aldo's still gone. They can't have the proof they need to convict him. the square and saw some things that could be useful okay so madam carmen not only handed lola over to the policia she's you say we are still up he seems really nervous but 
talking to himself just outside the church. Aldo's still gone, as you said. I'm sorry. Stay clear of the repair shop. The Polythia are still there. Not sure what they're up to. We have to talk. I'm coming up. Okay, there's no hiding that I hate what you and the Policia did. Yeah, I get it. No, you don't. I had a brother. What happened to him? One of those raids. He had talent. Wanted to be a poet. An artist, musician, everything. The world couldn't be colorful enough for him. I don't usually talk during cutscenes, just so y'all know. I and games like these, I want to be quiet before, for the sake of what's the word? Um, immersion. Just so y'all know. He loved hanging out with people. One night he didn't come home. Never did. I'm so sorry. We went to the policia, of course. They contacted us after a week. Said there had been a car accident or some bullshit. When we finally got to see the body, the bruises told a clear story. Badens. What was his name? Sebastiano Lynx. I know that name. How? Oh, don't tell me. Were you there? read that name recently. Where? The pamphlet. That's what it is. It's a list of victims. Where did you find this? It was spread all over the plaza today. These must be years when people disappeared. We've got to put this together right now. Charge of the flower collectors. My intel, together with your witness account, confirms it. Look here. This is the same person we saw at the cabaret. It even mentions his name. Houseman. It has to be the same person. He's running for office in the upcoming election. Uh-huh. The rhetoric he uses. It makes my skin crawl. It's a list of victims. It's evidence of all the people murdered in the raids. Houseman, that slimy bastard. This guy is trying to get away from his involvement. I'm not gonna let him. No way will he walk. I'm going to help. Yeah. I still don't know how to feel about everything, but... I have to see this to the end, no matter what. But for now, we should get some rest. Let's start fresh in the morning. I'd love a hug. Well, next morning.
Still sleeping. What should I do for breakfast? She looks exhausted. I'll whip up something to eat and let her rest for a bit. I would whip up a proper breakfast. Bacon, hash browns, eggs. Thanks. Nothing beats a proper breakfast. Are you thinking what I'm thinking? Houseman. Yes. It's clear that he must have known about the mole. Now that the list is out, all we have to do is make the connection. Do you think he shot him? I'm not sure it matters. If we can link him to the killings, he'll have a lot to explain. <laughs> Won't look good in the polls. Speaking of, the election is tomorrow. The story has to be finished today, for it to reach the morning papers. Let's not waste any time then. We should start at the cabaret. Houseman's got something going on with the owner. I'll head down. You go check the perimeter. My little sidekick. There's still some film left. Is that Carmen? Kid, the cabaret owner is down. In her apartment. What? Is she dead? Can't tell, but it doesn't look good. In any case, this is our chance. I'm going in. Wait a moment. I'll check the door. Mel, stop. The bouncer is there. I just saw him. Crap. You have to distract him. I'll think of something. I'll just call him. Who'd have thought this would come in handy again? Senor Blanco. Who is this? I am calling about the cabaret. Who is this? Leave her alone. You've done enough harm already. Come on, Mel. Go. I'm in the hallway. Ah, uh, never mind, senor. You stay away from her. Seems like they've received threats in the past. <laughs> Careful when you enter. Use your sleeve to open the door. Check the body, but don't move anything. I can hear noises coming from inside. Phew. What? She's not dead. She's sleeping. Ah. Oh, smells like booze in here. Hmm. Oh, that's interesting. What did you find? Interesting bookkeeping. I'm leaving it as I found it, but I took some Polaroids. Good thinking. Apparently, Carmen received regular payments from Houseman, which is definitely a connection, but there was nothing about the mole. We'll have to look elsewhere. Feet. I'll talk to him. Hurry up. 
before you say Beale gets there and interferes again. <laughs> oh dear. He did it again, but this time I was faster. What did you get? He saw Houseman, the night of the murder, coming from the cabaret. Finally. So there goes his alibi. We're still lacking a gun. If only we could talk to the singer. Somebody at the cabaret has to know something. Sounds like a good lead. I'll keep an eye out. Hope she's also been released from the station. Check if anyone else has shown up in the meantime. I don't think there's anything more to see. Really. I think that's pretty much it. Don't really use anyone else to talk to.
Oh. It just hit me. There's there's this, there's this Hitchcock film. She recognized the guy from the paper, but never saw him on the night. Damn. She told me a story about those Italian women though, the mechanics. He said they showed up about a year ago. Yeah, I remember. That's when the noise started. Damn scooters. Focus, Jorge. They came here looking for their dad. He disappeared some years ago. Disappeared? Anna thinks he was part of that revolutionary's group in the Spanish mountains. They followed his trail here to find him. No luck so far. So, another one. Gone. Think about it. The mole gets killed because he's carrying a list of missing people. The next day, the list shows up on pamphlets in front of their repair shop. They found the original and started printing it. If they can't get their dad back, they can at least try to make sure it doesn't happen again. We should add that to your story. I can't stop thinking about the printing press. We should take a closer look at it. I'll take a picture. Okay. Got a shot of the press. Maybe the original list is still in there somewhere. Makes good evidence. I'll take a peek inside. It's no good. The policia locked the place up. Let me think. The kids were talking about something. I'll ask them. See what they know. Okay. They told me the mechanics used to let them play around the back. So they know a way to get in? Maybe there's a rear entrance. I'll check when it gets dark. Oh, thank God. Good to see you're safe, Lola. You won't believe who's back from custody. Stop playing games. Our evasive singer. She's in the garden. Is she okay? Hard to tell from up here. Why don't you go and ask her? Gave her a black eye. It's bad. Aww. Bastards. She's covering it with makeup so she can keep performing. Aside from that, she seems okay. Said she's used to it. Has been running from authorities all her life. I told her about what we're doing. She's keen to help. Did she tell you anything about Houseman? Yes. Houseman is responsible for some changes here. She said it looked like the cabaret was going bust until he showed up. He must have been pouring money in. Certainly fits the records you found in Carmen's room. I think their deal has something to do with the disappearances. Maybe Carmen is... Houseman just showed up. Quick, find a place to hide. Uh-oh. Closer. Sorry, I'm yawning.
didn't have a clue I was here. Lola made sure he kept talking. She's amazing. Careful. He's still in there. Yeah, yeah. I'll tell you later. But the gist is that he threatened her not to talk about the night he was here. So Aldo was right. Totally. Now we just need to find his gun. He won't have it on him. He's too smart for that. Yeah. Hey, tell me when he leaves so I can get out. <sighs> Cutting it a bit close there, Mel. He left the cabaret. <laughs> Good. I was getting bored. He's meeting with Eusebio. How far does this guy's reach go? Can't say I'm surprised. The Catholic Church is in it with the worst of them. Anyone who allows them to spread their traditions and influence. Can't believe I trusted that two-faced coward. Wait. Could this be the reason why Eusebio stopped me from talking with Aldo? Damn it. All right, that's it. I'm coming up. Hmm. How oh, interesting. Okay, well. Oh, there you are. Let's get everything up on the board. So, we have a shot of Houseman at the cabaret. We've got Aldo and Lola testifying he was there the night of the murder. That's solid, but so what? You were there too. Well, I haven't been paying money to the cabaret. These payments. I'm certain Carmen was paid to sell out her own people. Hmm. The cabaret was always a watering hole for those seeking refuge from the government. So, what's his motive? The mole was there when he issued the orders back in 74. The list is proof of the casualties caused by the raids. And now, with the country trying to become a democracy, it would end his political career. Yeah. If we can prove any of the orders came from him. Let's put things on the wall. See what we're missing. <laughs> You're an awesome cat person. I need to think that We have one witness placing him in the area on the night of the murder. Aldo really came through for us. That doesn't make sense. I need to think. He's in with the church. How would that be a problem for a politician? Well, it could mean... Ah, uh, forget it. They all are anyway. That doesn't make sense. From what we've seen... 
It's highly likely Carmen betrayed her contacts. Do you think that's how Hausman got the targets for the raids? Probably. Carmen is well connected among the opponents of the old regime. How could she do that? Maybe she drank herself senseless to drown out the guilt. That's all we know for now. I'm going down to the repair shop, see if I can find a way inside. The original list. Wonder if it was longer than that single page. We're running out of options and time. We're just gonna have to give it our all. I'll contact you once I'm inside. Come back guys, more of this game until then. Leave a like and subscribe, guys. Always for more soon's video. Goodbye, everyone.